Hi guys, uh, this is hopefully going to be the first ever video that I record and put on YouTube. So sorry for lighting and anything like that. Um, I'm going to do a what's my bag video because I was under the impression it would be one of the easiest ones to record. Which it wasn't but that was mostly to do with the dog that you just heard barking. And um, because I enjoy watching them myself so hopefully anyone that comes across this video will also enjoy watching it. So the bag itself is from a local shop in a town that I live near um, called Love Forever. They have an online shop I believe and they were selling this bag um, in blacks and blues and this colour and fluorescent pink so I got it in this and they're black as well and it was originally £15 down to four fifty, so I thought that was a pretty good bag. So let's just start with what's inside. Um, the bag itself is like just an empty vast of space inside so to go with it I went to Primark and bought um, a bag art organiser it can pick up for I think it was like three pounds so it's basically this which the, the concept behind it is that you put anything that you'd normally have in your bag and you put it into this and then you can switch it between bags when you change your bags out if you do that daily or weekly or whatever you, you got your work bag and then you your shopping bag, that kind of thing. So inside this I have uh, a Primark makeup bag with a New York um, keychain. Got this, I was in um, McDonald's in Times Square in New York and this guy came up to us and asked whether we wanted to buy it so we did. <laughs> so got that. Um, inside of this is just a load of random makeup. <laughs> Um, then I also have my purse which is another Primark buy so it just has the card section and the coin section that's not anything really interesting on the purse uh, I have some gloves because in England you can never be too sure when you're going to need them whether it's summer or winter uh, I have a brush with some bubbles around it I have my phone which is a Samsung in a case because I'm the type of person that will pull my phone out of my bag and instantaneously drop it, pick it up and then drop it again so with most of my technology it has a case in for instance okay well I have a, I have a Nexus 7 and that has a case in it as well like a very a sturdy case when I was buying my, um, my laptop it was um, a joke that I was going to have to get like an army one that could withstand like a nuclear bomb because that would be what I would require. I didn't get that but it was, you know, it wasn't that far off of an idea that I would need one like that. Uh, I have my iPod which is a 2 gigabyte, so that might be able to tell you how old it is. I think it's like 3-4 years old. Um, so every time I upload a new song onto my iPod I have to delete ones that I don't listen to as regularly. In um, one of the little cases inside of it, I have hand sanitizer, uh, ellipsal, some painkillers, a bubble. Then I have some gift cards from Primark, Debenhams, and Boots. These I keep on meaning to go into the shops and check that they are actually empty. Um, I'm like 99% sure that they are, but if I throw them away with money still on, I would be pretty gutted, as you can imagine. Um, in the front pockets of this, I have my car keys with um, a London Eye picture and uh, the Blackpool Tower dungeon picture, and then like a, just a little love heart that you know, one of those squishy ones. Then I have my house keys with a whole bundle of stuff on. Um, the house key itself has a little um, like a dat that you can put on it, and out of it, when you press the button, it'll shine a light so that at night you can actually find um, the keyhole, which is pretty necessary for me because <laughs> even during the day, sometimes I can just kind of like get it in the, the keyhole. Um, I have an Eiffel Tower from my sister when she got back from Paris. 
I have uh, Always Friends. Can't quite see that, but it's just um, the Me To You there. Um, Always Friends keychain. My sister's got the other half of um, some other keys, some little playlists. Um, I've got a uh, a trolley key with a little snouser on it. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. But that's what he is. He's a miniature, a uh, miniature snouser. Then I have um, just like a rape alarm, which I would pull out just for the comedic <coughs> factor of it because it is really noisy. But I, I won't subject you to that. Then I have this, which I um, I asked for for this Christmas. It's just you put it on your keychain, and it can hold five pounds worth of pounds, um, so that when you've gone and parked in a car park or something like that, and you spent your last pound in your purse on a pasty, like I often do, you you can actually still pay to get out of the car park. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then in the side pockets, I have. Some tissues and some hand wipes. The other one I have a pen, a 2013 um, weekly calendar, uh, a notepad with little hours on it, which is super cute again. The lighting, sorry. Then in the back section, so it's like so in the back, I have some snacks. I have a Special K uh, double milk chocolate cereal bar. I have some almonds. <laughs> I have some polos. And I have a 20p thread off. Anyone who's my age, which is 21, can remember like back to their childhood when like these used to cost 5p. Shocking. <laughs> I might be becoming like one of those people like back in my day. Things were cheaper back then. Um, then I also I just have attached to it this little adapter that you can put into anything that takes earphones, so your laptop, your um, your Kindle. Do you Kindles take them? Well, like your Nexus Seven for me. Um, your iPod, anything like that. Your phone that takes earplugs, and it just it allows for um, two different earplugs to hear it from the same thing. So, for instance, I use it. Last time I think I used it was to watch a film um, on the laptop. It wasn't very loud, so we put this in. Both of us wore our like perspective on earplugs. So that's everything that's in that. Then in the bag itself, all that there is is some magazine clippings um, from my outfits that I've seen a piece of clothing that I've wanted to check out in the shop so for instance this was from New Look it's the blaze that I was looking at um, so I wanted to have a look at that in the shop and then... oh this was cool um, this is out of I want to, like, probably super drug. Yeah, naturally, super drug. Uh, one of the little magazines that you can pick up at the door. And I wanted to see about getting this. It's the, um, like, it's um, something for your nails, but it's it's like a fur effect. Um, so I was interested about that. I still haven't actually had a chance to check that out, though. Uh, and I have some other vouchers. I've also got... Um, my boots, you get if you have a boots card about probably about three times a year, maybe, maybe more. You get um, these sent out here. It's like you get three hundred points when you spend thirty pounds or more on a single transaction, that kind of thing. Um, so I've got to use this by June, and I never end up using them. <laughs> and as soon as the dates run out, I go into boots and I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy this, and oh look, that would have been perfect for that. So, yeah. Uh, then the last thing I have in my bag is a camera case. Uh, my auntie every year she will give you money, but she will give it you in like a container. So this year, it was money in a camera case. Years before that, it's been like a little box or um, an earrings holder, like little pot. 
that the money will come in so this year it was the camera case but I, I carry this around in my, per, uh, my bag and it just holds some extra contacts some um, departed moisturiser and some floss <laughs> one of the like um, sorry excuse the nails like the um, what are they called oh, I don't know it's just like a floss and a pick at the same time so yeah that's uh, everything <laughs> that's Bye from oh so blah, 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 blah. Yes, thank you, lovely. That's beautiful. Okay, so uh, that's it for my first video. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I've tried to record this now. So that should be it now. So bye from me and bye from Oscar. Hey, bye bye. Who's that? Who's that? You're like, I don't know. I'm just finally getting a chance to look out of the window. Are you going to put me on the windowsill now so that I can bark at people as they walk by? Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? Okay, bye.